in the previous video we have seen the ideal pressure build up test drawdown test and various aspect related to it now we will see how to estimate the permeability skin and various parameter and their implication out of it first of all estimation of permeability from build up or drawdown test there are few steps which has to be taken and which has to has to be followed to get the permeability from transient well testing one of the first step that is there to define the probable beginning of the mtr and this could be done by estimating the after flow time the well bore effects after flow effects or the well bore storage effects after flow effects will be there when build up test is there or well bore storage effect will be there when drawdown when you estimate the probable beginning of the mtr then the second step comes that is the probable end of mtr and it could be assumed when there is a deviation from the straight line that's called horner's plot and third if you get this mtr apparent linear mtr then we calculate the slope on a semi logarithmic scale that will be per cycle slope and from that slope we can estimate the permeability using this equation that will be k equal to 162.6 q mu b by m that is slope into height of the page on one of the crucial aspect here is the estimation of mtr if we are not confident enough to select the mtr region then the quantitative help from type curve analysis or derivative curve analysis is taken to locate the mtr region and when this mtr is located there is region and then for that region only the slope is calculated and then from that slope permeability is calculated also when there is a permeability and skin calculate, calculated out of it we can estimate the well bore damage or stimulation condition so we had seen it before let me tell you again the skin is the measure of hindrance or stimulation hindrance is we call it well bore damage that is understood in terms of skin skin is represented by a value s here in this figure you can see that skin is concentrated up to a certain distance from the well bore and this because of the completion practices or drilling practices the certain region that is up to rs that is from the well bore has been damaged and that is represented by this red region and there is a virgin region where still original permeability is there and we denote it by k original permeability and the damaged permeability by ks and the formula for its skin that is k upon ks minus 1 into ln rs by rw we had seen before that how this equation has been developed here you can see that if positive skin is there near to the well bore particularly the pressure drop is very large and because of the pressure drop delta p skin is very large you get very low pw value but when there is a negative skin you get very high value of pwf because the pressure decreases near to the well bore because of hindrance because all around the well bore fluid is reaching to the well bore and you can remember the lift analogy when we come towards the lift from all around the lift it become very clutchy and when we create 
stimulation around the elbow this create a linear path like a highway or a vip pass and because of that only the delta p is keen is significantly lower than the even it was there in the virgin region even the virgin say original permeability k was there around the elbow so when we get the stimulated region around the well bore we get negative skin because of the negative skin we get very small delta ps it's a drop because of skin when there is a positive skin that delta p because of skin will be very high and we will get the smaller well bore flowing pressure here you can see that how we can estimate the skin from the build up test and drawdown test we had seen it before this is the only the difference between these two equation from build up test and drawdown test is that instead of p1 hour that is in the build up test is generally greater than the pwf because the well is certain for letting the pressure to build up and after 1 hour pwf is has to be greater than the pwf it is when the delta t is zero certain time is zero but in the drawdown case pressure was stabilized condition at stabilized condition and then when fluid was started drawing from the reservoir using the well at constant production rate and it was initial pressure pi and then after one hour it was lower than the initial pressure and that is p1 hour you can see here only here you can see that when we get the skin we can estimate the effective well bore radius effective well bore radius rwa that is rw into e to power minus skin there is a reason behind it how this equation has been written you can see here the basic equation is written like pressure or pressure drop pi minus pwf for infinite acting reservoir with a line source well is written like minus 70.6 q mu b by kh into ln 1688 phi mu ct rw square divided by kt and minus twice s because the skin effect is there near to the well bore so here minus 2s could be written like ln e to power minus twice s this is just like the base shifting for a logarithmic and again this minus twice s could be replaced by ln e to power minus twice s and we could write again like that one and finally this combination of rw and e to power minus twice s become rwa effective well bore radius and there is a square of it for the say combined effect of skin and the well bore radius so this rwa effective well bore radius is rw into e to power minus skin say if well is stimulated and skin is in negative that is say it is minus 7 and for a general case the well bore radius is 0.5 so if we calculate can also calculate the rw will be around 1100 that is very larger very very large compared to the well bore radius that is 0.5 so the meaning is when stimulation is done because of that stimulation you get the negative skin and practically the effective well bore radius is larger because it is only the radius larger than 1100 feet the radial flow will be dominating and radius less than 1100 feet the linear flow will be dominating because of the fracking and because of fracking only you can estimate the fracture half length which is the one of the parameter which tells you how effective the fracturing is from this effective elbow radius generally this effect this fracture half length is twice approximately is twice the effective elbow radius when the fracture half length is given you can also estimate the skin knowing the well bore radius from this equation also when skin is known we can estimate the 
pressure drop because of hindrance or stimulation effect because of that skin and this is the equation to calculate the pressure drop because of skin derivation of this equation has been given very early in the discussion of this subject and if we want to write this term in terms of slope we can write like that only thing here is we know the slope of that horner's plot and knowing the skin value calculated from this horner's plotting technique we can calculate the pressure drop because of skin also we can estimate the flow efficiency of the well using this calculated skin calculated pressure drop because of skin using this formula so generally the flow efficiency is the ratio of actual productivity index divided by the ideal productivity index so generally productivity is written like q by delta p say for constant same flow rate that was actual and ideal so that will be when you do the calculation part that will be p bar minus p w f minus pressure drop because of skin divided by p bar minus p w f you remember that this flow efficiency if there is a pressure drop if there is a skin and there is a pressure drop because of skin this flow efficiency has to be lower than the one and this your denominator part has to be less than the denominator part and this will make the less than one and when p bar is presented as p star we will talk about it very soon that p star is very easy to calculate from the harness straight line this equation can be written like that so knowing a simple transient test analysis we can estimate the permeability skin effective elbow radius fracture half length pressure drop because of skin and the flow efficiency of that skin because of the skin that was developed near to the elbow and this is the flow efficiency measurement technique we estimate the how effective the elbow completion has been done when this flow efficiency is high then we say the completion is quite good and flow efficiency is low we say completion is not good and this is one of the guiding principle to select the most effective completion technique without providing any hindrance to the fluid flow that is entering into the well bore the overall is we get we take the minimum delta p skin and we adopt every practice to do it also when there is a incomplete perforation incomplete here you can see this the completely perforated the page on of high st if you do the limited per incomplete perforation or limited perforation it could be like in between at the top or bottom this incomplete perforation will create a apparent positive skin that apparent positive skin will be because here in this completely perforated the flow will be linear but here in this case second case the flow will be hemispherical and here here it will be semi hemispherical and here also it will be semi hemispherical so this when there is a deviation from this radial flow to hemispherical flow that creates a kind of hindrance and that gives the apparent positive skin so the skin calculated from the build up test analysis is the total skin that will be because of this limb incomplete perforation and the damage skin that is near to the well bore because of completion practices or completion fluid or the drilling fluid so this equation is the weighted sum of the damage skin and the apparent positive skin because of incomplete perforation so this apparent positive skin can be calculated using this formula where st is the total height of the page on and hp is the perforated height and kh is the horizontal permeability and kv is the vertical permeability when we know the skin and when we know the apparent positive skin 
we can do the substitution here and we can calculate the SD value. If you know the how much percentage of this total skin is taken by the damage and how much percentage is taken by the apparent skin, positive skin, we can suggest the which part is contributing more to the positive skin. If it is from the apparent positive skin, then we say that the limited perforation is creating more skin and because of that only the flow efficiency is decreasing in that particular well. And in that well we can go propose that some perforation optimization has, has to be done to increase the flow efficiency. You understand efficiency. It is simply like the well is more efficient when we complete the well in the larger portion of the page zone. And when we complete the well in a very limited zone because of change from radial to hemispherical or semi hemispherical, some positive skin is being created that is hindering the flow near to the well bore and creating a positive skin. 